Number three, liquid biopsy for oncology. A new type of blood test is starting to transform cancer treatment, sparing some patients the surgical and needle biopsies long needed to guide their care. Instead of taking tissue from the tumor itself, which is costly, painful, and sometimes risky, the novel tests, called liquid biopsies, gain information needed to treat cancers by capturing cancer cells called circulating tumor cells, cell fragments called exosomes, or free circulating tumor DNA that tumors shed into the blood. Liquid biopsies provide a non-invasive way to repeatedly sample a cancer, so doctors can profile its genes, target drugs to mutations, tell quickly whether treatment is working, and quickly adjust treatment as the cancer evolves. These biopsies may actually provide a more accurate picture of cancer in the body than the traditional biopsy of a single lesion, since they represent cancer cells shed from metastatic tumors present at different sites, liver, lung, brain, and bone of the body, for example. These blood-based tumor-derived tests can provide insight into the biology of metastasis and be helpful in directing therapy, monitoring therapeutic responses, and in early detection of cancer. Tumors are really tricky. We treat them and then they change, and we have to interrogate them to know how to treat them a second and a third and a fourth time. So um, we're very lucky that Shamala Mahiswaran from the MGH, who's a molecular biologist and associate professor of surgery in the Center for Cancer Research, is going to be our expert to discuss a less traumatic way of following a tumor in a patient. And so uh, I'll hand it over to you to tell us how is this new technology going to work? Thank you, Monica. So liquid biopsies basically differ from uh, uh, regular uh, biopsies by being invasive. Um, um, we can do repeated sampling, and in addition, it also represents uh, tumor material that is shed from tumor cells that are present at multiple sites. And uh, the goal here, uh, and usually these liquid biopsies, uh, these components that are present in the blood are represented as uh, circulating tumor DNA, the exosomes, as well as circulating tumor cells. And these three components are being um, explored in um, trying to inform whether, uh, in terms of monitoring therapy, as well as being used for early detection of cancer. And uh, the circulating d DNA basically is something that can be used to inform uh, the mutational status of the tumors and can be used to direct therapeutics, whereas the circulating tumor cells are highly enriched for RNA with some fragments of DNA and, again, can be used to um, inform uh, downstream therapeutics. Whereas the circulating tumor cells contains a lot of information. It has the, the genomic DNA the RNA as well as the protein expression. And the greatest advantage of the circulating tumor cells is that it can also inform about uh, the heterogeneity that exists uh, between tumor cells. And uh, these highly malignant cells can also be cultured, which can then be used in drug sensitivity screens to help us understand the differential properties of these cells in terms of their responses to drugs, which can then be actually um, used in the clinic to treat patients. And it also can help us understand understand the evolution of these tumor cells, um, uh, which occurs relatively quickly as they are treated with uh, um, various therapeutics, and we think that this would be quite transformative in um, cancer care.